In the lecture, we will learn the flange plated beam column web connection. The flange plate welded to column web and flanges. It may be welded to the beam flange. It is a moment. and 2 to 6. The scenario involves a special moment resisting frame beam column moment connection. The ETEF model of the structural members is already provided. We have to design the moment connection and the type of connection in RAM connection is referred as FPBCW beam column web connection. Let's switch to the software. We go to beam column web connection the beam we are utilizing is having a w shape and the size is selected using e tabs the column size is wide plan section 14 by 53 The length of the beam have to be seen from E tabs. Let's hide the elements which are not useful to us currently, such as deck. Now go to hide the purlins that are secondary beams which are not of concern in this video also hide the girders or beams that are connected to the flange of the columns as we are designing the beams that are connected to the web of the column okay so the beam length was 15 feet which we have entered now the next option which we are interested in is to add the load cases. The important load cases are as defined in your structural model. For here we are taking dead load, live load and seismic loads in x and y direction. The design load combinations are automatically generated based on AIS, ASCE 710 load resisting factor design LRFT. Now we can edit the loads. The important loads for the moment connections are shear force moment. Since it's a moment connection, so the shear force has to be very low as an additional shear connection is a requirement. Let's start with extracting the dead load. moments we have to pick the maximum moment value in the kip fit units and make sure that the units are same in the software which we are giving input Now proceed with the live load flexure. There is no live load moments. We are having moment diagram due to seismic load. We select the maximum value from here. The live load was zero and the maximum load due to seismic in flexure case is provided similarly in seismic load in y direction we are having a very negligible flexure or moment so we can neglect it now proceed with a dead load axial force 
actual force due to dead load is also very less that is approximately 0 0.069 let's take it as 0 0.07 and 0 in lab load case in seismic load case we take the value as 0 0.0218 you can also take minus 0 0.0219 it's up to you as the combination has a plus ex and minus ex so the combined effect will all more or less be same but if there is large variation in force from member to member so you have to design different connections for both of the members or the group of members having similar forces must be assigned similar connections considering economy and safety now proceed to the shear force for dead load shear force for dead load take the maximum value similar as in this video we are using single connection typical connection for different locations for beam column web connection A shear force due to earthquake in x direction similarly shear force due to earthquake in y direction that is a very negligible force that can be taken as zero now we are done with loading the forces into the software The connection we are discussing in this video is moment fixed plate that connects the flange of the member or the beam or girder to the column. The connection is already passed. The green colored 0.61 ratio shows that the member has passed the stress check and the color green shows that the member is also stable with respect to the code provisions or the connection is also stable. Here are the forces you can extract the design code AISC that is American code the B member can also be changed and the column member can also be changed here yes the column is ending conservatively plate material can also be changed to 50 SI or other given materials Bolt sizes can be changed. It can be made a welded connection as well. But just for demonstration purposes, I revert back to bolted. We can make the bolts smaller. As there are a lot of connections and larger bolt may result in expensive connections. but it is very important that the connection must be stronger than the member itself so we can also export the drawings from the generated software to DXF format similarly we have to check the results it's all tick mark in green color that means that the connection is passing the code specifications thank you for watching